everyone how are you so i hope you're all doing awesome and amazing in this video i'm going to be sharing with you the easy peasy all-in-one homeschool kindergarten curriculum so these are everything that is for the kindergarten curriculum they focus on the three r's reading writing and arithmetic right so um it's very um basic <laughs> and simple and it's not i don't think it'll be uh too overwhelming it's like just straight to the point so if you guys don't know what easy pc is they are a completely free curriculum um that you can go from preschool all through high school and everything is free and everything is online for you so it is awesome um i feel like everybody should just at least check it out um even if it is you don't do every subject but just you know check it out because it's I just can't believe that it's all for free. <laughs> um, and if you want to do what they call like offline, so maybe you don't want to do the lessons online directly from the website, then you can buy the actual books and work that way. So um, I did the preschool and I did a walkthrough of the preschool principles. I will leave that in the description if you guys want to see um, that video as well but in this video i'm just going to be talking about the kindergarten so um the books i have here are the kinder math principles and the kinder writing and this is the learn to read with easy peasy so i'm not 100 sure why but the math is not offline um i did double check i was like wait am i missing something but it isn't it just has the, the principles so for every couple of lessons it may have some a page for you to print out and that's what's in this book so if you're going to do the math you do still need to refer to the uh, website um, and it'll, the lessons are really easy and quick and it's just like a few little things each day and like it'll be um you know count to like this particular number then i'll have a game and the games are really fun my daughter likes them they're basically like um you know counting carrots with curious george um popping balloons but you're like you're counting them in order or you're um counting them in ascending order or descending order um some of the other ones are like putting a puzzle together like counting the dots on a ladybug and then putting them in the houses the houses that correspond to the numbers so i just wanted to tell you guys that just in case you're like look what are these games but they're fun and you know it's for of course kindergarten little kids so i'm just gonna show you guys a little walkthrough first of the math book and then we'll get through the writing and the learn to read I'm just going to move those to the side for a second. So, um, yeah, you don't have to buy this book if you don't want to. Is this, I don't like printing, so I think it's cool to have everything just in one book. Anyway, these are from lessons 6 to 28. So basically, they're going to like color the number as they go through the lessons. Here's like a little maze, lesson 96, some addition, 97, 106, 120, um, writing and modeling equations, counting to subtract, adding on number lines, counting to add, and then I'm sure you know this right now, but it says the lesson number that it corresponds with. And also another thing like online that they'll do for math is like calendar. So they have um, links to a calendar that you will, you know, do every day with your child. Shapes, writing the numbers. Fill in the number, counting to subtract. Counting to subtract, and then this is for um, the Roman numerals. And 
this here, the counting book, is basically, um, it just had the different pictures of different animals and they're going to count them and then color it. And so that's it for the math principles. Um, I don't know if I said this, sorry if I didn't say it already, but if you guys wanna do this um, with your children, you can create an account um, and it'll have their different lessons because they do separate each subject for kindergarten and it will have um, each lesson, when you create the account basically, it will put all the lessons together so you don't have to go to each tab. Um, one by one but anyway that is the math book. here's the writing book I just love I don't know why but I just think the little pictures are so cute <laughs> so here this is lesson one and it's just basically like um, explaining to you how you're going how you would do this so like I said you can do the online and on the online they'll have videos showing how to form the letters if you choose not to do the online she just basically saying model the letters like write the letters um, for your children and draw like a little picture of you writing the letters and then here is lesson two so lesson two um, first when they're learning to write the letters they're gonna do the uppercase first and then the lowercase and um i'm just gonna sh i'll show you as we go through it so basically it's telling you to write the letter in like how to form it and it's cool that she uses these little boxes for them to be able to write the letters in so this is l t i f e okay and then lesson seven is writing words feel it lit is what they're gonna write in the boxes so basically they're now they're going to the letters that they just learned they're going to put them together basically and then it's just going to continue like that and then you see now they're gonna write this Um, and it's not, as you can tell already, um, it's not in alphabetical order that you're going to teach them. And I think that's because like some words form better together. Like it's like, it's easier to get the formation if you introduce certain letters together, not words, sorry, letters together. I think that's why they're doing it like that. And then by lesson 32, you're going to write, they're going to write their name in all capital letters. And um, then now they're going to do lowercase, which they're going to work on the actual lines to do the lowercase. I hope I'm not flipping too fast, but I think you get the gist. <laughs> So a part of this program is not just um, forming the letters, but it's also like learning, you know, how to write their name, learning their phone number, stuff like that. Like see here, it says write your name and address as best as you can. Write the word 12, then trace the 12 and write a full row of them. Okay, so I think you get the gist. Okay, well, let me show you this. Um, writing actual words. So write these words, catching, jumping, sending, hanging. Write these sentences. The bank is pink. The rink is red. So it's not to make sense. It's just <laughs> for them to be able to write it. So then just at the end, they're just writing words and sentences. 
okay and let me just tell you guys how many lessons this is this is 180 lessons for the writing so that's the writing and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the reading I don't know if you hear anything in the background but those are my children <laughs> they're playing with their dad my husband okay so this is learn to read with easy peasy um, and on her website you guys can go ahead and read about her learning to read philosophy and how she teaches uh, reading because it's a little bit different from other curriculums basically I'm gonna give you a little quick overview she teaches um, sight words first and she teaches um, phonics okay and she, on the website she basically explains why and she also gives like a quick little um, reasoning as to why she does that but just so you know sight words first and then it's going to be teaching phonics so she does teach phonics and sight words is just in a different order okay so to teach the sight words she uses the McGuffrey the McGuffrey eclectic primer and then um, then they're gonna read the McGuffrey first reader so if you guys don't know anything about the McGuffrey readers they're basically these like old-school readers from I think it's the 1900s I don't know if it's that far back to the 1800s but I'm pretty sure like the early 1900s and um, that's how, what they used to teach reading was the McGuffrey readers and so if so you know that something from back in the day if you're still able to use it now it has to be like really good <laughs> so that's what she uses and that's what's in this book so you don't have to separately purchase the primer or the first reader obviously you can do whatever you want but you don't have to it's already in here and if you're doing the online it's on the website so the way that is broken up here is sight words practice and phonics so you're going to use the mcguffrey primer for sight words the first reader for practice and then get into phonics and to do the phonics she based it off of pathways phonics which is a total it's not something um i keep saying she but the author is lee giles it's not something that Lee Giles did is this a completely different phonics curriculum but she does acknowledge it here because um, she did use it before and that's what she bases the phonics off of from there so here is basically going to explain you know how to do this how to do the reading okay so here you want to make sure your kids know the alphabet the letters and the letter sounds first they have to know uppercase lowercase and the sounds and now the way the now these are the lessons so the way the lessons work there are a set of words and you're not going to teach them to sound it out so it's not going to be k -at or like k -at, k -at. you're not going to do that you're just going to like maybe write on a flash card or show them um she says to leave the house says to try like three times a day so you want them to to basically be able to recognize these words and just memorize the words themselves and that's it not sounding it out but you can help them with it but you're not going to teach them to sound it out so you're not teaching them phonics and then the second part of the lesson here is they're going to go ahead and read read this it's okay so then it's a sentence that's uses the words that they just learned so you want them to know these words before you go to the next lesson okay so let make sure they able they know these words they memorize words they can read this and then you can go ahead to the next lesson and it's going to continue like that throughout so this is lesson two these are new words here and now they have reading some sentences to read but these words here are from lesson two the new words that they learned and the previous lesson before lesson one and it's just basically going to build up and build up on the next one so here's lesson three then the reading and it does have a picture uh to go with everything 
And so the lessons are just the two pages, this and then the reading. And then every couple of lessons is a review. So here's lesson five. It's using all the words they just learned and then they're gonna, you know, they're reading the sentences for that. And then it just keeps going the same exact way. So the, this is one lesson. And then here is another review. So by lesson 10, they should be able to read all of this. Okay, and now here is by lesson 20. This is the review. So this is everything that they should be able to read. And it just continues like that, okay? For the first half of the learning to read program. So I'm gonna skip a little bit because it's just, I'll just be showing guys the same thing <laughs> over and over. Um, So by the end here, they'll be reading this poem, okay? And now this is part two. In part two, they're not gonna be learning more sight words, they're just learning, they're just basically gonna be reading. So she wrote here, you will read the words at the top of the lesson to your child while pointing them out. Have your child read the words to you. Then let your child read the lesson story to you and continue to help your child with the word by using the pictures, beginning sounds, and similar words like cat, mat. It's okay to give your child a word or two when he thinks he or she is stuck. Um, they are practicing the words when they see it and hear you say it. So basically, you're you're just gonna say the words here at the top, right? And then, but let them say it too, and then read it. So, no more like flashcards, <laughs> and three times a day like the other one, just like saying, "Cat Matt is on." Then they say it, and then they read that, and it's just that practice. So uh, let me just say here, um, this page is one lesson, this is another lesson. So that's how long the pages are. And just like the first part, there's the review. So one lesson, another lesson. Here's the review. So I think you guys get the gist. And I'm just gonna flip to the back here where um, the phonics starts. So now they're going to start doing phonics and um, Lee guys basically says, it should be easy and cool little quick for them to do the phonics because they already know how to read. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and then she's saying here to get them like some earlier reader books to help them. And they may be like the early reader books may be like pretty easy for them, you know, but just to get them to be able to read and give them confidence in reading. Okay, so yeah, now this is phonics practicing the sounds. And here is going to be some blending. And once again, and now here at the bottom, you can see that this is basically com combining this lesson and this lesson. So the lessons are going to build. So read the consonant sound, then short vowel sound, and then the, uh, the two sounds combined.
now it's going from one sound, two sounds, to three sounds together. Rhyming words, word pairs, sentences, the hark sound. So on, so I'm just flipping through it now just so you can see really fast. So at the end of this program, um, your child should be reading at a second grade level, which is obviously like, whoa. <laughs> so uh, I will also say one thing here. Now, this is the way Lee Giles you know, teaches reading from sight words to phonics. But if maybe you're trying the sight words and um, your child isn't understanding it, and you can read about all this on the website. If your child isn't understanding the sight words first, you can go ahead and do the phonics portion first and then do the sight words. So it is like flexible. This is, you know, every curriculum has their own philosophy their own way of doing things every creative curriculum they have their own you know ways so this is her way <laughs> and this is this way does work for um a lot of people and for those who it doesn't necessarily work for you can start with the phonics first and then go ahead and do the mcguffey readers after they get the phonics down after they do the phonics portion and on the website that's how it's laid out as well so you can select to do the phonics or select to do the sight words but uh, you know just according to her to Lee Giles she thinks it's better to do the sight words first so you know if you want to try that way then go ahead so yeah so these are just everything that is a part of the kindergarten um, curriculum. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to be as detailed as I could. Sorry for this like really long, but I just, you know, I don't really see that many videos on Easy Peasy. So I just wanted to show you guys the kindergarten. Let me know if you guys have used Easy Peasy before. And I don't know if I said in this video, but I did do the preschool and I did a walkthrough of the preschool principal. So I will leave, uh, leave a link to that in the description. And I will leave links to all of her stuff in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have used this, please tell me what you thought of it. Or if you use any part of Easy Peasy, please let me know. Thank you so much. Bye.